It's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, you, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the missus later. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Friend. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Just what in the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. In fact, I'm in a good goddamn mood. So you should take advantage. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you I shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. He said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. You sure you don't know where Lily's things are? You should care about this, since it's important to the case. What did I tell you before? I'm sure I don't know. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Right now I couldn't give a shit what you think. No? No. Well, I can tell. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. 
Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Granny. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. I guess. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry for what happened. I'll make it up to you. Ah, sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies.
Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He's just... He's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. Getting your glamour on this day, and one of these has to be the witch. But which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book, with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone in Fabletown. Any ideas? You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. The meeting is at two. I'll head over to Tweedledee's place. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or dumb? They, they aren't, they're in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. Have you seen a witch come by? Um, I don't know. Sometimes. Really? But... Who is she? Do you know where she lives? Uh, I don't know her name or where she lives, really. She just sometimes drops stuff off for the brothers to deliver. Deliver to who? I've never had any reason to see for myself. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. But I like it here. Gotta stay busy, you know? Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure, thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right, you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Right. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. Ah. D. 
Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dunn. Couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. I guess they have to be, in their line of work. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? You mean for people other than the witch? Oh yeah, all kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. You know about this? Uh, no. I'm sure you have your reasons, but it's just they, they've done so much for me. 